everybody. Uh, I know it's been a while since I've uh, had a video, but uh, nevertheless, I'm back, at least for the next little while. And uh, what I wanted to talk about today was uh, a new grow light system. Well, not a system, but uh, just a new ballast that I bought. So let me bring this into a uh, picture here. And what I got was the Sunblaze 48, and that's a uh, 8 light T5 high output fluorescent fixture. And that produces approximately 40,000 lumens. Um, and utilizes about 400 watts, um, which isn't so bad. And of course, the, the T5s, if you're not familiar with lighting, um, they do not produce a lot of heat, which is something that I that was important to me because I don't want to um, I don't want to do a full grow up here. But you never know; it may turn into one. But anyways, so low heat's great. Um, the bulbs are all uh, 6,500 6, uh, Kelvin, so it's a blue light which is kind of a neutral light, so it'll promote, uh, you know, most of the stages of growing. Flowering uh, stuff, maybe you want some more red lighting, or red bulbs in there, and you can mix them, you can mix and match, obviously, you can take blue, put red, whatever. So, um, anyways, so I've upped the grow light system, and I'll show you um, sort of what's going on. So I think I have another video of how to grow stuff, but basically this was my old uh, ballast that I, that I made. And um, that consisted of just three lights, one, two, three, and this little tin thing I got at uh, Home Depot as a reflector. So, you know, a nice, you know, first attempt, and I had that for a year only. Um, when I typically grow my tomato seeds, uh, you know, in the spring. But what I want to do this year is actually get things started a lot earlier because I noticed last year things were a little bit slow to start and uh, this year I don't want that to happen. So this is the, uh, the light here and I uh, screwed it right into the joists, you know, like a little hook type thing. That screws right into the joist. I missed the first hole because the stud finder uh, didn't find this, the joist properly. And the other one, and I got these little pulleys. And with these, you can just, you can pull to pull it up or um, release a little button here and lower it. So that's what, what's going on there. And right now, I have, well, not quite a bit of stuff, but it's uh, gaining uh, momentum every day. So I have some uh, wheatgrass that I just planted. Uh, I haven't had wheatgrass in a little while. You know, the thing, the thing with me is, well, not with me, but doing things on a regular basis is difficult because, you know, work and all that other stuff that you got to do. So wheatgrass really needs to be taken care of and obviously replanted. Um, every few days if you want to have a you know a constant supply of it so anyways I just plant some wheatgrass and my little baby seedling tomatoes um, have really sprouted out in the last uh, few days actually so these are uh, brandywine and there's two little plants there and they're getting really really tall they're getting really tall and they'll probably need to be transplanted really soon into something a little bit deeper. Because as you, as you can see, those little hairs, those little hairs that come up out of the stem, if those get, um, uh, get buried a little deeper, those will become roots. So when I transplant it, I will definitely be transplanting it uh, probably, let me just tilt it here, probably till about somewhere around there. So all these little hairs can, can have their chance at becoming new roots. So that's the brandy wine. And uh, another, another guy we got here is, um, this is a red pear. So uh, again, pear shaped. The tomatoes come out pear shaped. And uh, you know, I've never tried this variety, but you know, I like to try different things. 
And so far, now there was multiple little seedlings in each, uh, in each pot there. So what I've done is I've already actually moved a couple over uh, into this grow bag here and giving them some little bit of water and uh, hopefully they'll take off inside the bag. I have some friends that I can give some of these seedlings to uh, as well because I'm not actually gonna do too many tomatoes myself this year, but uh, I like to share plants and stuff, so I'm gonna give some to my, my buddies. And uh, there's another little, little, there was a little tiny guy there and he's now been transplanted into this pot. So this, these are the two original pots that I had here. Um, let me put this, put this down here. These are the two original pots I had, this guy and this guy. Um, this has got arugula, basil, and there was a cilantro and I think some parsley. So, oh man, I can, I can smell that. I actually harvested some of the arugula yesterday and actually ate it and oh boy, it tasted amazing. Uh, I don't think I've, I haven't tasted arugula that fresh and, and spicy. Uh, in, in a really long time. Um, so that's really good. And I'm not too familiar with arugula. I don't know, um, you know, how large they should get. But, um, you know, I'm going to see how it goes. And, and with this new lighting system, since there's eight lights in here, it's actually so much warmer underneath, underneath here. So I'm really hoping that... Um, I'm really hoping that uh, the warm, the warmth is going to uh, bolt the uh, bolt these greens a little bit, and also these uh, little skinny spinach guys. Um, this is spinach, and I can't remember the variety, but they're really growing uh, long and skinny, and it's not really the the type of variety that I'm into. But um, look, look how look how long these this, these stems are. I don't know if you see that. Can you see that? Like the stem and a little le a little a little guy on the end there. So I'm not crazy about them. I'm going to give them another few days. Um, and if they don't seem to be getting any better, uh, not that there's anything wrong with them, but I just don't like, I like full spinach. So I'm going to get rid of them. I'll, I'll eat what's here and uh, I'll use this pot and uh, start planting some other stuff. I ordered a bunch of new seeds online. So uh, they'll all be coming hopefully this week. And I will post another video of what I got and keep you guys in the loop there. Um, oh yeah, um, the tomatoes I got here, they're 100% guaranteed non-GMO, um, which is really important. And they're of, they're of heirloom variety. So, you know, I'm trying to keep it real here with uh, real food, not genetically modified garbage, um, things like that. There's a little basil plant. This, this, this little basil guy is, uh, he's taken to the heat well, since the heat's been introduced, a lot more heat's been introduced, he's taken to the heat really well. And man, these things just, this arugula, you gotta taste this arugula. I don't know if, you know, arugula is an acquired taste, but if you like arugula, wow, this stuff is really, really good. Look at the crinkly little, you know, guys in this one. Oh, yeah. Okay, so what else? Um, I'm experimenting with soils. Uh... It's really, really difficult to find good soil up here right now since it's winter. So what I've been doing is I've been playing with some potting soil and some other types of soil. And I also purchased some um, earthworm castings, which are in, now they're in only on this side of the first pot here. Because uh, the from the when I harvested the arugula, I pulled it out. And uh, I wanted to try the new soil with a little bit of worm castings. So these guys are in here. Now this guy is a little seed, a little seedling. Uh, I think he'll do okay. This this spinach, which I actually transplanted from the back pot into this pot, he seems to be doing uh, okay now. Um, there were some dead dead leaves when I uh, pulled it out, but I I, I, I uh, cut them all off, and now it seems to be growing some new shoots. This stuff here isn't doing too well. Now, I'll tell you why. This is spinach that I bought at the store. And I took a little... Uh, I took a little stem and I planted it. And it doesn't seem to be doing very well. It actually looks like it's there's uh, too much heat 
for these guys here, again, um, the varieties are gonna gonna differ, and I'm not even sure that I, you can grow spinach like that from. Uh, I'm just planting it from the store. Um, I did soak the roots for a while. A li little tiny roots came out, nothing crazy. So I'm not sure what's gonna happen with these guys. But my main goal here is just to keep everything uh, hydrated now that we got so much more heat here and uh, see how it goes. One other interesting thing here is uh, I got some photography equipment here and uh, I'm, I actually use the umbrellas as reflectors. So you can see I just, I just grab the umbrella and I kind of just, you know, push it up against against the light and it creates a really good reflector. So what I'm going to probably do is once I start raising this light to about maybe three feet, four feet, um, I might, you know, get some stuff to enclose it around there. But for the time being, uh, this is this is good enough. And I got my tarp here so I do all the so I'll stuff here on the tarp and then nothing gets dirty on the floor and no one can scream at you and uh, you know that's typically a good thing so let me just put this back here so planting stuff here is not uh, it's not new for me I've been doing it for uh, probably doing it for probably steady about three years since I moved into the house because I have uh, a small patch of of lawn in the back there and I've already converted a little bit into um, like um, you know uh, sorry uh, raised beds I got a couple of raised beds that I created there last year um, but what my plan is this year is to really expand the garden and uh, I really want to start uh, playing with different types of plants uh, vegetables root vegetables like all sorts of things and seeing how they, they grow in the, in the climate up here our, our summer, our growing season's really, really, really short. It's really only from May to probably September. You may get into October, depending on how uh, warm the year's been. But uh, up here in Toronto, Canada, there's not much you can do. So you start indoors, you do what you can, and uh, that's sort of all the advice I can give you if you're interested in doing this stuff. So. Check out my videos. I'll be uh, posting some updates as they as they happen here, and uh, some of the new seedlings that I got. I also bought a new tarp, new tarp here, which is going to go under a three light system, because the three light system is definitely good enough for storing the seedlings. So my my plan is to start the seedlings under the three light system, and then obviously move them over into uh, into this guy. Um, anyways, so that's the plan. See ya. Thanks for watching.